Hi, I'm Vesta, a Business Development Manager in Tube Systems. Today, we are looking at our Aggregate Network Manager product and how it can monitor a telecom data connection network. Specifically for this, we have prepared a stand demonstrating a part of such network. You can see this stand dashboard right now. On your left, there is a network topology graph where you can see the monitoring server, the host emulating a path to the core, aggregation layers which is connected to the STP ring and the access layer switch. For your convenience, here on the graph you can also notice a list of services provided by the switches. On your right, there is a video from our IP cam with all switches connected by blue patch cords and the wide access point emulating the network core. At the bottom you can see the list of devices and their statuses, the list of active alerts, which we don't have yet, and the region map with some parts highlighted depending on the alert type. Now, let's have a look at some typical cases in the data connection network. The first case is disconnecting the link from the ring. Disconnect the link between switches number 72 and 74. The link turns red on our topology graph and the services turn yellow as they degrade it. We can see the link down alert and reach with the list of services, all of them degraded. The second case is disconnecting the access layer switch. Disconnect the link to switch number 75. The system defined that the host number 75 is down, so highlighted it as red on our graph, and the list of services turned red too. At the same time, one service on our previous switch is still yellow. We can see the new host down alert, which now is enriched with the list of services, where one has degraded and the others are simply off. The third case is disconnecting the switch from the ring. For this purpose, we disconnect the link between switches number 73 and 74, so that we could emulate disconnection of the 74th switch. The system defined that the 74th host is down, while the state of the 75th is undefined. We can see it in grey color. All alerts disappeared with the single host down alert on the 74th switch, having a list of services currently unavailable. The fourth case is turning off the second switch in the ring. We disconnect the link between switches number 71 and 73. The graph demonstrates that the second switch is also down, and so we get the second host down alert containing the list of services, which are still unavailable. The fifth case is disconnecting the monitoring server from the data connection network. Let's disconnect the 71st switch from the monitoring server. We see that only the 71st switch is disconnected now, all the others received undefined states. We can't see any alerts coming from them in the list. The only alert left is the host down alert from the 71st switch, having unavailable services. And next, we'll be looking at a couple of more complex cases. We'll connect back all the links and start from scratch again. Let's wait for all the patch codes to be back there again. The last patch code will go into the monitoring server. After that, the system defines all switches and services as available, marking them in green. The sixth case is turning off the control interface on the switch. We will emulate this by changing the IP address on the 74th switch, enter its configuration, and change the IP address to a random one that must be unavailable, say 174. The system defined that the IP address has been changed and highlighted the switch in red. However, since other switches are still working, 
they stay green and the services are available too. The system defined the control interface as down. We see a new host down alert with the host degraded trigger. Also, the list of services is empty here. Now let's get the switch back to life and change its IP address to 74 again. All is okay now. Finally, we have the seventh case when the ports are swapped on one of the switches. Choose one of the switches on the graph, say 72nd, then swap ports number 9 and 10, and wait till the system reacts to the change. So, changing the ports. And wait for a few seconds. The system defined that the ports have been changed and displayed that on the graph. So that's how the data connection network monitoring works. Thanks for watching and listening. Bye bye.